Hello all and welcome to my live stream. We are doing a, a public service announcement for Suicide Prevention Month. Every few minutes we're going to do that. Um, today I've got a lot of grinding I need to do, but I wanted to show you a few things first. Um, some of the quests and whatnot um, can be a little challenging if you're not sure where to look. Because uh, some of the materials can be really difficult to find. Um, like you may need, you can sell fish and make some money that way. Just a minute, I think I need to adjust my mic a little bit more. Still a little too far away. The game is still pretty loud. How is that? Hopefully that's better. Um, okay, first thing I wanted to go over. Hope that's better. Um, I have mentioned having a friend from the valley hanging out with you to improve your friendship level at all times. I mean, you can use gardening as a bonus trait for everybody. Except you want to have one for each other. Like fishing, mining, foraging. Um, like in my instance, so I've got Goofy for fishing, Scrooge for mining, Remy for foraging, or you can use Mickey or or, uh, or Merlin for any of those. Um, you do get Goofy, Scrooge, Mickey, and um, and Merlin right off the bat, so you can pick one for each. But make sure that when you're running around and you're harvesting stuff from trees, or planting or harvesting crops or pulling oregano or basil out of the ground, you're going to want to have your gardener with you. Um, always use have your miner with you if you're going mining, like if you need gems or iron ore. Um, always keep your iron ore. That's one of the tips I wanted to give you today. Keep your iron ore. You're going to need that. I mentioned that yesterday, um, but not as much detail because the quest that you're going to be given, it's going to be needing the iron ore let me see if I can get to it. I forget what buttons. Um, here we go. Inventory. Uh, actually, we want to go to quests. Um, so we'll go here, here, here. Okay, now as you see, I've got a lot of quests where I can't get any more quests for these people because I'm not high enough level. Um, like I need Kristoff at level 6. I need to have... Uh, for Maui's next quest, I need to unlock Merlin and Moana. I need to level up Maui to level 10. I need to progress further with Merlin. I need to unlock biomes in the Forgotten Lands. Uh, I've done everything except for the Forgotten Lands one. Um, each one of these is a little bit different. They're going to have their own little things. But a lot of the quests that you're going to be given is going to be to collect materials gather materials is probably one of the most common quests I've been given and a lot of those require like for instance this one hardwood rope clay iron ingot to make the rope you need um, what's the word I'm looking for let's go inside I'll show you the crafting station but you need a lot of seaweed and so I would highly recommend that you hold on to all the seaweed that you catch. I was selling it at first until I realized I was going to need it for stuff. But the rope is going to need fiber. Fiber is going to need seaweed. So for each fiber, you need one seaweed. For each rope, you need eight fiber. That's, a, that's eight seaweed for each rope. This quest from Goofy calls for seven rope. So that's going to be seven times eight for seaweed. Same thing with your, your iron ingot. When you go to make iron ingot, you're going to find you need coal ore and iron ore. Um, it's, it, it takes five iron ore and one coal ore to make 
each iron ingot. So any iron ore you locate, any iron ore at all, from the beginning of the game, and seaweed, you hold on to. Because you are going to need those desperately. Um, tinkering parts is something I've had several quests I need to make, and you need iron ingots for those. That last quest, that qu current quest I have right now for Anna requires two iron ingots. So make sure to keep your iron ore and your seaweed. Those are going to come in handy. Um, Remy's is fairly easy um, when you go to get him. He's got his own kitchen and he has he makes some recipes. When you go to unlock um, the first three that you could unlock is basically Moana, Remy, or Wally. And all three of them are really easy to unlock. You just need to do a small quest for them. And then they'll join you back into Dreamland, into uh, the Dreamlight Valley. It's really easy, really simple. They're they're just adorable. Absolutely love them. Um, they they are their their personalities in the game really match the personalities in the movies. You're gonna love them if you like Moana. You're gonna love Maui and Moana in this game because their personalities, their actions, everything really awesome. Um, Mini I just recently unlocked in yesterday's video, and you're going to enjoy getting her. There's a little story with that, no spoilers, um, until I, you know, until you watch the video. If you want to see it, it's yesterday's video. Um, you can see how I unlocked her and got to her. Actually, it started way back in the beginning, and it's uh, along Mickey's quest line. Um, let's see, anything else I wanted to cover really quick before I, uh, I... I dip out and mute my mic and just it's going to be just strictly gameplay pretty much from here on out so for those who joined for the YouTube video thank you very much make sure to subscribe and um, and hit that notification bell and let, so that way you get notifications whenever I post a new video I do every day um, I am streaming live on Twitch right now so you can go to Twitch at 9am every morning and catch me streaming and let's see, um, one of my big tips that I put yesterday was money making. You're going to want to plant and sell like carrots at the very beginning of the game because they're easy to get. You can get them from Goofy's stall once you um, build Goofy's stall. That's something that Scrooge is going to walk you through in your beginning tutorial. So that's not something, and no spoiler or anything special you have to do. Um, you will have Goofy's stall at the very beginning of the game and... You can buy carrot seeds, plant carrots, harvest those. Um, they take about 15 minutes. Um, you can you can even cook those later once you've unlocked Rebby, and you can sell them for uh, um, for more a little more money than the carrots will sell for. And also your Dreamlight Goals. I've gone into that last uh, in some of my other videos. Make sure to follow the Dreamlight. You can you need Dreamlight to unlock areas of the castle and you need Dreamlight to unlock areas of the map. <coughs> Excuse me. And then once you've uh, planted carrots long enough to unlock tomatoes, you get tomatoes when you get, uh, I believe, the beach. And then you can plant tomatoes and you get a little bit more money for those. It takes 25 minutes to grow those. Um, it'll also unlock some more recipes. Every new item you find, it, you'll find it'll unlock recipes for either cooking in, the, in Remy's restaurant or items that you can build for your house. So money's a really big thing, so that's why I recommend getting into planting, harvesting. Um, at least that's what I've done. It helps me, it's helped me to uh, open and unlock more rooms to my house and upgrade Scrooge's house. Um, I've upgraded every one of Goofy's stalls that I have built to maximum because I highly recommend that. Um, when you first get to an area, make sure to build that stall at least to the first step. And then uh, when you get the coin, as soon as possible, build, um, max it out. And once you've unlocked Canola in the Forest of Valor, then you're going to want to build, you're going to want to plant that. That's going to be your main staple for, for planting and selling. Also, every time you plant, every time you harvest, you're getting experience. So if you've got a friend with you, that friend's going to level up 
super fast. I'm not kidding. Just super, uber fast. And make sure you use canola. You have to water it a lot. So it really helps when it rains because then you don't have to water your plants. But uh, plant and harvest your canola. It takes about 35 minutes for the canola to sprout. I think you have to water it like every 5 or 10 minutes, something like that. Just keep an eye on your map. Keep walking back. Check on it. Um, you can buy it. Buy 170 of those for 4,250 coins. Um, you know, that's, that's what I'm doing right now is I'm up to 170. You can start off with five, start off with two, I mean, whatever you can afford. I, I recommend when you first get canola, buy as many as you can possibly afford. Plant those. When you harvest them, it will be worth it in the return because those 170 units that you bought for 4,250 coins, you can sell for 17,000. It's got the most return than any other crop crop in the game um uh, like i said watch your dream light goals because buying and selling items um and also planting you get goals and dream light for completing that if you look at your dream light goals you have daily dream light duties that come up every day when you complete one it swaps it out with a new one foraging selling fruit harvesting feeding um gardening is a is a big one you get a lot in that buying seeds from the forest of valor when you unlock an area, like the Peaceful Meadow, you're not going to have the money. But later on, after you start doing the canola, you're going to have a lot of coin. So go to these places and like buy the cheapest seed you can from the Peaceful Meadow. Sell them back. Do the same thing with the Forest of Valor. Do the same thing with the Dazzle Beach. Every time you unlock an area, buy seeds, resell them. Um, the maximum is going to be 645. So just do 645 and you'll get, you know, you'll get the... 50 is the first one, 100 I think is the second, 200 is the third, and it goes up and up and up from there. So there's five levels, and each time you get Dreamlight, free Dreamlight. Same thing with fishing, free Dreamlight. Cooking, if you like cooking, free Dreamlight. Um, friendship, village, all these areas, pay close attention to your Dreamlight. Uh, the collection I have not gone into yet, uh, but there's a lot to learn there. Um, I've gotten into the friendships. The event, if you can, I would highly recommend getting into the event. I don't know. This event only has a little while longer, only 29 days for this event, and it's over. Uh, by the time this game goes public um, f on free-to-play, I'm sure they're going to bring a lot of these events back. Um, so, But if you buy the game right now, before that uh, 30 days ends, I think it's worth it if you unlock the premium, go for the 2500 Right now, I'm experiencing a glitch with my account. I cannot sync up with my Epic Games account, which is where I bought the game. If you go through Steam, you might experience a different. Um, uh, my wife purchased it through Epic Games, and she doesn't have a problem at all with her logging in to her Epic game, Games account, and it even uploads and saves to the cloud. So, for whatever reason, mine seems to be bugged. Um, it did tell me that my password was invalid and asked me for my email to have them email me and uh, that it said my email was not valid. It didn't do that with her. She did have to change her password, but um, it is a beta game. It is still in development, so bear with it. Um, when it does release to the public, I'm sure it's going to be a lot less buggy, but I'm telling you, it is worth it. It's worth the $30. I will not buy a game brand new. Um, hardly ever. I think in my life I've bought two $60 games just because they, I, I like them. I like games. Um, I'm a gamer, but I'm not going to spend 60 bucks on a new game. Now, some of you might go out there and plop down $60 for a game you like. Great. Then it's going to be really worth it for you to buy D D Disney Dreamlight Valley. It's an awesome game. So, I've rambled on long enough, giving you a few tips. That's going to be about as much as I'm going to talk about today. Um, I've tried to adjust my mic, so if I do get into a little bit more explaining and um, any more tips, I will try and put them in the notes in the YouTube video. And that's about it. Thank you all for joining, and you all keep being awesome. Bye now.
sorry folks, just put some food in my mouth there, I remembered. This month is Suicide Prevention Month. So, like I said in yesterday's video, I keep reminding everybody, be a friend. If you want to make a friend, you got to be a friend. Be nice to everybody you meet. You never know what kind of day they're having or what they're going through. Even if you're having a bad day, it always helps to be nice to people. So they'll have a tendency to be nicer back. And you never know, you may make a friend. Maybe a friend for a day. Maybe a friend for a week. Who knows? Could be a temporary friend or a permanent friend. But, you know, love everybody. You give you give love, you get love. You get a lot of what you put out there. So, make sure to uh, check in on your friends and family. And, and if you're not feeling well, then, you know, let somebody know. Talk about it. You might not necessarily have to say the words, hey, I'm really feeling down, like, I'm kind of feeling suicidal or I'm depressed. I've been there. I've done that. You don't feel like saying those words until it's almost too late. When you do, it's important to have somebody to talk to. And you can't always reach out to the people you have because you can't always trust them. Um, I know how it feels. But just make some friends. Reach out and make yourself available. Hopefully, uh, if you're feeling down, you can find yourself methods to uh, pull yourself back out of those dumps. A lot of times exercise will help. Um, there's all sorts of ways. I'll get into it later in another video. But that's not for today. I just wanted to mention it and make sure that it is Suicide Prevention and Awareness Month. So be a friend. Love y'all.
no honor. How lucky am I, right? Buddy, that's that's gonna be the, the stream I'm gonna go into uh, more gardening, more harvesting, more fishing, uh, trying to find some iron ingot. Not gonna be a whole lot to share for today, but thank you for joining. And um, don't forget, you gotta be a friend to find a friend, and uh, be kind to everybody. Be awesome. <laughs> 